Hi guys, happy new year. <laughs> Feel like it's been a long time since I've been on here. I guess doing my hair. I just got finished putting my color in, just touching up my um my gray um, hair around my edges and um or so back here. And now I am applying my deep conditioner and detangling my hair. I've done this before with you guys. Of course, you know my hair is very tangly after applying my color and doing everything. But I am deep conditioning with my favorite, my Design Essentials um, deep conditioner. Silicone free, color safe, and it's nice and moisturizing. And it smells good. It smells really, really good. So I'm just taking my time here. Just detangling my hair. I just wanted to come on and just tell you guys Happy New Year. <laughs> it just seems like it's been forever. Yeah. Anyway, I hope everyone is doing well. Everyone is healthy. And everyone have goals for this year, 2023. Um, I don't have a lot of goals. I really don't make too many goals. I do write stuff down on my, I have like a vision board. I do write a few things down, you know, like small things, something if I'm taking care of the house, you know, things I want to do, accomplish like within my house or so, or just within myself, um, what I want to do. Other than that, um, yeah, I just want to have a good safe and healthy year. I just want my health to be, you know, right on point this year. That's a blessing. That's all I can ask for. <laughs> yeah. But other than that, everyone is doing fine on my end. I hope everyone is doing fine on your end. And yeah, anyway. We are going to see if I can, I don't know, do some different things with my hair. This, look at that matted, it just matted all up. That's the only reason why I colored my hair. Um, do some, maybe some different things with my hair. We'll see. I don't know. Look at that. That is just so matted up. Take my time, pull it apart. I know it's like hair shedding right there. And there. So yeah, just take your time. Add a little water. And just put a little conditioner there and just pull it apart gently. And there we go. Anyway, see if I can put that back. I'm just trying to pull it apart real gently. There is another one. There's another one. And we'll just spray it again. Loosening up. Okay, here we go. So, just here. Yeah, so we're going to see if we can do some different things with my hair. Maybe wear some, I don't know, pinup styles. I don't know. <laughs> do some twist, more twist or so. Anyway, we will see. Hope everybody's having a good hair day. If you, what are your goals for your hair this year? Um, is anyone out there still, um, I guess, applying perms and stuff to their hair? Is anyone out there that's still not natural? Um, let me know down in the comment area. What are you, what are you afraid of um, when it comes to not being natural? Because I know a lot of people, they have a hard time. Um, they don't want to be natural because it's, they're scared that they, I guess they're going to have a hard time, I guess, caring for their own hair 
worn it. Like me, I was like, I didn't want to deal with the poofiness. <laughs> I knew it was just going to be a hot mess every day, but it worked out fine. It worked out fine. There were like hairdos I would just do um, when it came to, if I had that poofiness, if it wasn't acting right, um, I would just wear it out what, that one or two days and then I would just pin it up. I was more of a ponytail girl. Every time you would see me, I, I always had my hair pulled back of some sort. Or um, I will always have like a, um, I guess like a one braid and then pinned up the back um, or so. But other than that, <laughs> yeah, that's what I was do, would do. I was afraid of becoming natural. And the reason I became natural um, was because I started to see a lot of girls that did have the perm. I started to see them lose their hair a lot and that scared me. And I was like, oh my goodness. I was like, well, I don't want my hair to come out yet. You know, I don't want, I don't want that. I was in my, I was in my thirties. I was in my thirties when I started to go natural. In my thirties, so it, it's been a while since I've been natural. But um, yeah, I would see them and I was like, well, that's where I said, I want to be natural because they said their hair was starting to thin at the top, um, but they wasn't ready to go natural. And I was like, well, I'm gonna go natural. I'm gonna try it out. If not, then, you know, I will find another way to get my do my hair probably if I didn't go natural or so I probably would just get it blown out a lot I mean I would still go natural but get just go to the hairdresser and just get it blown out and straighten a lot that's probably what I would do and I did end up doing that for maybe about a year I would go to the hairdresser um not faithfully but at least three times out of the year and get it done. And so, and then plus I got my perm clipped out. I didn't do the big chop. I did a little at a time, like I had gotten a bob. I got it cut into a bob and then just let it grow out the rest of the way and just clip as, you know, <laughs> As the, um, the years went by or months went by, just clip a little at a time. That's what made me feel comfortable. So you can do that. Just clip a little, a little at a time because that's how I transitioned. Even though it did look weird, you had the poofiness at the top and then the stringy hair. That's when I would just pin it up and put it in a ponytail. Or I did a lot of, um, what do you call it? flexi rods or um, a roller set. I did a lot of roller sets just to um, blend it in. That's what I would do. And it worked out. It worked out. And then once I did <laughs> become completely natural, I didn't know what to do with my hair not know what to do with my hair. My first product was that um, Shea Moisture's um, line. That's what I would use. The Shea Moisture and the Kinky Curly. Those were the products I would use. Um, and Giovanni. So yeah, that is it. But yeah, don't be afraid. Um, to go natural I mean it's it it's easy it is a process it does take time but um, and it takes time to find the right products for you, that works for your hair and the right method um, that right um, that works I guess best for your hair but um, yeah just take your time do your research and 
you don't have, I mean, if you want to do the big chop, I don't see nothing wrong with doing a big chop. I was just glad that I didn't have to because I got this weird shape head. <laughs> I got this weird shape head in the back and it's like, I don't want to cut my hair off because my head look weird. But some girls, they got the perfect head and they can do that big short chop and it looks beautiful on them. And, and I give it to them. I mean, they be rocking it. If I had the perfect head, I would do that nice big chop and wear it like, you know, <laughs> wear it like that for a while. But yeah, um, that, yeah, my head doesn't look right for that. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and finish this up here. But yeah, let me know down in the comment area if you if you're still putting relaxers in your hair or if you're transitioning and and um, what's going on with your hair? What do you have plans to do um, with your hair? I mean, do you find it hard or you still searching for those um, products that works best for your hair? Um, like I said, it does take time to find that right product. And then some people, they don't like to deal with this. You see what I'm doing with the tangle? Some people don't like to deal with, with this here. But if you take your time and you be patient, you'll be just perfectly fine. And you'll learn to love your curls. Yeah. I think everybody has beautiful hair. Just take the time out to um, just take care of it. Take care of it. So, anyway, we're going to see... What we're gonna do this year with this hair? I'm gonna try to. I'm, I think it's pretty much on its healthy. I know I've been coloring it. I guess my hair is not gonna really always don't you know be a hundred percent or so healthy because I I do color my hair. Um. So, but anyway, it'll be you know halfway there or so, kind of in the middle of being healthy. Um, and if you have color hair, if you if you do the right things that you're supposed to do, deep condition, keep your ends trimmed, and keep it nice and moisturized, and um, it will be it will be healthy. It will be healthy. It'll stay healthy as long as you keep doing the right things. And I'm gonna try and do that <laughs> this year. And I'm gonna try this year. I'm gonna try not to chop on my hair too much because I know I do when it comes to me clipping my hair I do clip my hair a lot every so often if I see something I'll clip it but I didn't I haven't done too bad um I guess the last couple of months I haven't clipped my hair like I used to because I would see those ends and I would just go Ch -ch -ch. so I haven't done that um too much um, for the last couple of months. It's been a couple of months. Besides when I did chop that big tail off. <laughs> I chopped my tail off in the back. But um, other than that, yeah. But um, I am going to, um, once I apply my deep condition and rinse it out, I am going to look at my, my ends and see if I need to trim them because I do like to trim my ends, clip my hair, when I um, go to color my hair just to have a good fresh start since I have nice colored hair my hair is nice and colored I'm detangling and I don't do this detangling me method every time I deep condition my hair so I am really enjoying <laughs> doing this today so yeah I don't do this all the time just um, just sometimes mainly when I color my hair, that's when I do this big deep condition um, detangling method here. So yeah, but yep, I'm gonna look at her, but she is, she's glowing. So she's like here, and I do have like, it's kind of choppy a little bit. So anyway, let me see, let's see. But she's looking good, feeling good. See, it's nice and tangly. Look at all the definitions starting to form. Yeah. So this side is done. 
and I'm just gonna put my heat um, heat cap on and sit on um, keep it on for like maybe about 10 minutes maybe about five or ten minutes because it's already going to be sitting on my hair for a good little while but yeah anyway guys I'm gonna go ahead and finish up and I'll see you guys later all right Okay guys, so here are my beautiful results that I have achieved. I have the definition, the shine, the moisture, the bounce. I do have curls here that I have not plucked apart yet or separated because if you watch my channel, I do like to stretch my curls out throughout the week. That's how I get them to last. That's why I do not fluff them out all the way. So this is day two hair. I feel that she looks beautiful. I'm going to turn around and show you the back. Yes, yes. So, yes, this is what I achieved. This is what I like. Um, I don't mind the frizziness. I don't mind some frizz put it that way I don't mind some frizz and I don't mind the fluffiness of it um, so now it's time for you to find what you like about your hair um, I know when I was transitioning um, there was quite a few things that I didn't like about my hair and I didn't feel confident um, so I will always just push my hair back in a bun and just went like that the whole week until the next wash day um, but as time went on I started to feel more confident more confident I didn't worry about what people thought about my hair or what they said about my hair I liked my hair and that's all that mattered because I'm gonna be the one walking around with my hair like this I felt that it looked nice I felt that some days when I needed to look professional, I would pull it back in a ponytail just to tame that frizz. The first day was always okay, decent, but when it was time for me to look professional, I would pretty much pull it back and kind of pin it up a little bit because I do work in an office environment. Comfortable where I want to be now with my hair journey. I feel that um, I can achieve the achieve the wash and goes that I want to have, and this is one of the ones that I like to have. Um, not too much frizz. It's not too poofy, but it's tame, and it still looks nice and professional too as well. But um, when it comes to um, your natural hair journey. Just make sure you stay positive, embrace your curls, and make sure you keep a journal of everything that you do with your hair because um, if something goes wrong, you'll be able to have something to look back on to see what did I do wrong. You can see if, did you put too much protein in your hair? Did you put too much moisture in your hair? Did you clarify your hair this week? What did you do to your hair? A trim, color, just make sure you keep a track of all of that. Um, you have a, if you don't have a journal, keep a calendar. I love to keep both of them because both of them help me um, to make that decision of what I'm gonna do the next week or so. Or what really my important part is, what I'm gonna wash with. Those are the things that I kinda like juggle in between so I try to make sure I write that down like if I clarify this week then next week I won't clarify I'll do like a moisturizing um, um cleanser so you have to yes keep a keep a track of what you're doing to your hair and just remember that everyone hair is different you have to, you need to find your own regimen and maybe if you see YouTube videos or so, like find a YouTube video where maybe if that person had maybe the same type hair as your hair, 
um, like you have, then maybe that will help you so. I like to look at different YouTube videos because of each video, some people, they do a different technique. I like to see what kind of technique they do when doing their wash and go. So that's why I look at different YouTube videos because some people, they, they do the raking, some people, they do the smoothing, and some people they do the little swirl with their with their fingers. So I like to see that it's not really the the products because I think I'm comfortable uh, with the products that I do use on my hair now. I like the way my curls look after I'm using the products. So it's pretty much um, the technique I like to see um, YouTubers do. So anyway, like I said. Do your research, see what's out there, and read and read, and don't forget to read the back of the ingredients to see what you are applying to your hair. Now, um, if you are not ready to transition, just remember there is resources out there for you. So when you are ready, don't forget to do your resources too as well. Don't let no one pressure you into becoming natural. When you are ready, then you go for it. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this video and I will see you in the next one.